Can you hear me now? Yes. Thank of course. You. So, uh, the, uh, the next is code free, same way go. I will share your screen. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen, code free? Not, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Nope. How about right now? Yes, now I can see it. Okay. Please, time right. is yours. Okay. All right, everyone. My Five name is Godfrey Samoyko. Uh, can I start? Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, my name is Godfrey Samoyko, and uh, my paper is about how to teach middle school students visual arts using Adobe Illustrator CC in 2022. And I'm coming from the Department of Digital Media Design, Asia University, Taijiang. Taiwan. Next. The outline of my, my presentation is about introduction, purpose, method, result, discussion, and conclusion. Um, I don't see it on the right because you have my small, uh, my small window here. Do you understand? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, thank you. There, there is better. All right. Uh, next. Yes, that's the best. Thank you. An introduction. Uh, I'm talking about teaching the digital art. If you need to teach digital art, you have you, you need to have the skills of visual art as a visual artist as well as a digital artist. So you can easily transfer the knowledge to students and the student centered coaching and create better assessment tools. Because uh, if you are not a visual artist, it's very hard to be friendly and to be a, a student centered as a coach. Uh, next. Uh, purpose of this uh, investigate is to to find a simple tools among several complicated software interfaces. We call, we know in the digital in the digital art there's a lot of software that are very complicated and the uh, interface is very complicated. So the purpose of this one is to use a very simple tools, very few, and to create an assessment tool as well for for digital art. Next. The method. Uh, method, I used uh, 19 middle school students to collect data and I give them a drawing task before demonstration of how to use shape and shape builder tools. And then I use pair T text as a data analysis. We see that uh, in the, the drawing there from the from my, my, my demonstration from the drawing A to drawing F. That is how to drawing G, the final one. It's how I demonstrated on uh, how to create uh, a simple uh, a drawing of a human uh, using Adobe Illustrator only shape tools. Next. Here is my data and uh, the 19 students and then uh, I, I first I collect data before I demonstrate on how to use these shape tools and that after that I collect data on the grades in the percentage uh, or after the after I've demonstrated them so they know after they have seen the, my demonstration and then they know how to use these tools and then I use the pair T test next. The results results I came out like uh, the mean average before uh, before mean average before uh, demonstration and uh, the second one is uh, uh, after uh, demonstration. We see that the mean average before demonstration is lower and then uh, the other one is C, uh, it's uh, higher. And also before demonstration, many students has low grades compared to the after demonstration. And also the standard deviation show that amount of variation of the set of grades before demonstration are spread out. Why after demonstrations grades are close to mean of the set. Next. And the discussion uh, in the discussion we find I found out like most of the students understood the use of the shape and the shape builder tools about 89% and also these are like 17 students uh, out of 19 students. So this is good. Only 10.5 that did not understand well the use of these two, two tools. And also when you use the shape builder tool uh, it, it is applied the shape color also be, became only one color. That is the, the the discussion after the uh, of the the research, and also uh, in the discussion we found the differences between other researchers is about the process. In this, in my processes, we we 
we directly use the tools to create a simple figure, but other processes, they use the paper and then they sketch it and then they, they scan the images. It's like digitizing the analog image to the digital. Uh, so that is for me, it was like copying and uh, and uh, copying uh, to, from the original uh, paper to the digital one. So that's the, the difference as uh, process. Next. And the conclusion here, teachers, in this conclusion, we find that a teacher with no any experience of art or digital tools can use the assessment method to assess the work of digital drawing. We see that on the left image there, the assessment tool, go back. Uh, we see that on the, uh, the left image there is the assessment tool. It shows that uh, we can use only two shapes and uh, you can assess by the, the balance of the the elements of the figure and also you can use the only few shapes to create a very complex complex shapes and next hello uh, these are references and next next thank you did you yeah thank you guys thanks a lot okay so that is your last uh, slide. Yes. So, so please, please uh, Professor Sunadi, give the good free uh, instruction uh, comment. Okay, thank you. Uh, good free. Uh, you could the presentation. I think is your presentation. Uh, presentation is complete and the presentation the good structure. Uh, in here, I have the any question about your why you. Uh, the statistic is using the practice test. Because uh, why did I use the T pair T, uh, pair T test? It's because yeah. uh, I wanted only to compare the two things only. So the P, uh, pair T test, it, it gives me a, a, a lot of uh, 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 data uh, because I compared uh, be, before the grades and after the grades. So pair two T test, it's a, it's a good uh, tool to use it as a analysis okay 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 thank you for your answer okay that's all uh thank you godfrey thank for you for your presentation today thank you